everyone welcome back today we are book shopping for my august tbr list and i'm here at barnes and noble we're gonna go inside and kind of look around and see what i can find and there's already one book that i added to my tbr list for this upcoming month and it's called open water but i cannot remember who the author is but at the end of the video i'm doing a haul so you guys will see all the books that i got including that one so yeah stay tuned and let's go to barnes and noble can you believe it they call it family meeting on me boy you're out of your mind do you know what you're doing with your life guys so i'm back home now and it is the next day i couldn't film the haul right away just because i came home really late so today's the day and i have here all these books in total there's seven books that i'm gonna be reading for the month of august which i'm so excited to get into some of these but there is one book that um i mentioned earlier that i bought at a different bookstore the bookstore is called blackbird and bookstore and coffee shop and that's where i got this one so i'll go ahead and start with the haul so i have two books here the first one and second one and this is a good girl's guide to murder by hallie jackson and i do love true crime murder mystery so i'm really excited to read this one i actually started reading first a few pages and i'm obsessed so far i love that it does have the interviews there's a little map of furview which is the town that this occurred so i'll read you guys a little bit of the back so you guys can understand um what those this book is about so pretty and popular high school senior Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend Sal Singh, who then killed himself. It was all anyone could talk about. And five years later, Peep sees how the tragedy still haunts her town. Now a senior herself, Peep decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project. At first to cast doubt on the original investigation, but as soon as she discovers a trail of dark secrets, she might actually prove Sal's innocent. So yeah, and there's someone here that does not want her to be digging around and proving anything and that puts her life in danger. So I'm really excited to read it and see and like trying to find all these clues and all of that. Now, this one is the second one, which is the sequel to the first one. And it's called Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. And here... Peep is no longer a detective and she releases a true crime podcast with Ravi Singh, who is Sal Singh's brother. Even though the podcast went viral, she still feels like there's something else. And there's uh, during the celebration or is it during the celebration? During the memorial, sorry, during the memorial of the death of Andy Bell and Sal Singh, their six year anniversary after the death someone goes missing and her name is jamie reynolds yeah she tries to investigate once again and go into detail but now everyone's paying attention and you know she wants to make sure that they find jamie so there's a lot of 
missing person true crime all of this stuff so i'm really excited to read this one as well and continue to read this one so yeah so to continue with the whole uh true crime and mystery uh situation <laughs> theme i have uh death in her hands by otessa mosfeg i believe that's how you say her last name and i'll read a little bit of the bag so you guys can understand so her name was Magda. Nobody will ever know who killed her. It wasn't me, but here's her dead body. But there is no dead body. Becoming obsessed with solving this mystery, our narrator imagines who Magda was and how she met her fate. So basically, th this does have a little bit of some suspense, mystery, like I mentioned. So yeah, I'm really excited to read it as well. And continue with the whole mystery and true crime as much as i'm a big fan of mysteries and true crime and all of that stuff i'm also a sucker for romance and this book is called better than the movies by lynn painter and it does have the rom-com as well as the enemies to lovers troop and i'm really excited to read it uh actually lynn painter commented in one of my posts on on my bookstagram and i was literally fun girling because no one has ever done that and i'm excited to read it i've heard so many good reviews about this book and like i said enemies to lovers type of situation going on here but yeah i want to see what happens and if they meet they're happy ever after and i'm truly obsessed with this cover you know uh, it's so beautiful so yeah i'm excited to re read this one as well next up i have taylor jenkins read daisy jones and the six and i already read uh some of taylor jenkins books i have read already the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and molly rising so i'm really excited to read this one as i know it takes place in la as many of her books do and it is on the late 60s so that explains you know the whole rock era as well and it's about this girl named daisy who's coming of age in la and she goes sneaking into clubs on the sunset street sleeping with rock stars and dreaming of singing at the whiskey a go go and basically everyone is obsessed with her because of her voice and how beautiful she is thus she becomes a part of the band called the six so yeah and there's a little bit of drama happening you know like the band breaks up and they go into detail and they want to know what happened and all of this stuff right so that's basically what the book is about and yeah i read a lot of good reviews about it so i'm really looking forward to reading this one next i have susanna clark piranesis Piranesis, I believe that's how you say it. And this book has won Woman's Prize for Fiction 2021, which is really good and exciting. I don't know much about it, but I know that they go into detail about the house of Piranesis, who is this little guy right here, and they describe the house. They have a lot of statues, you know, the, the house is huge, a lot of uh, halls and labyrinths and all of this stuff, right? Um, but yeah, and... I'm not too sure what exactly this book is about. I read the back, but I've seen it on Book Talk, YouTube, Instagram, and so many people love this book. But I also seen that not a lot of people love this book as much. So I'm not too sure how I will feel about it. But I did wanted to read it just because I've seen it and being recommended on Book Talk. And apparently it does touch also on the topic of loneliness and what's real what's not being a part of this world and it is a fantasy so yeah i'm looking forward to reading this one as well and see what it's all about because i don't know much about it so lastly i have open water by kayla wasuma nelson and this is the book that i talked about that i bought in a different bookstore this is a debut book and it does talk or mentions topics on vulnerability masculinity race and living in the black body as well as love i'm really thrilled to read this book and find similarities within myself because i am latina and i do struggle with some similar stuff as well being in fear or being vulnerable and right now like as i talk i do know that sometimes things are hard for me to say words in english especially because english is not my first language so you know i know that sometimes people can find it funny and me mispronouncing things but it's actually really hard i've been through probably a similar situation of wanting to be successful or succeed but then 
being turned down because of who I am and what I am and the race that I am and the skin tone I am. So, um, yeah, this is the book and this is the last book that I have for my TBR list. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And please let me know down below in the comments what books you're reading for the month of August. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.